Hey guys, Toby here. Today I'm going to show you what kind of projector quality you can get for around 120 euros by giving you a little review about the LC550 projector from Apeman. I am normally not a big fan of cheap no-name tech products, as they tend to not last that long in my experience. That's why I'm creating this review 6 months after I bought the projector to make my statements with at least some confidence. The projector offers following specs. A native resolution of 720p, a lamp life rated for 50,000 hours, two built-in speakers, keystone and focus adjustment, a size of 22 by 17 by 8.5 centimeters, and a weight of about 1.2 kilos. All of that is yours for around 120 euros or pounds. The price seems to change a lot especially because there always seems to be some kind of discount on this device. At the time of recording, there was a 50 euro discount coupon available on Amazon Germany. And on Amazon UK, the price was also reduced by about 20 pounds. Just take a look for yourself. You will find the links in the video description. Let's start with the most important thing first, the image quality. These days a native resolution of 720p is nothing special anymore, but considering the price and the small form factor of the device, it's completely fine. Especially if you sit at a certain distance, you're not going to notice it that much. I use the projector in my bedroom for watching movies from the bed or an occasional Sega gaming session with my girlfriend. As I have a white wall in front of my bed anyway, I thought a small projector would be a nice fit. At the distance of 410cm I get a picture that is 330cm long diagonally. That's about 130 inches. The projector handles this distance comfortable, but I really would not suggest using this projector for much larger distances, even if Apeman rates this projector for screen sizes up to 200 inches. The color temperature seems a little bit to the cold side, even though I already selected a warm preset. The dynamic range is also nothing special, especially the black tones suffer quite a bit. But yet again, do not forget that this little projector costs less than 150 bucks. The saturation overall seems fine. The brightness is rated at 4500 lumen, a rating which I would not trust. Here is a comparison shot with two different monitors which offer a typical monitor brightness of about 300 nits. As you can see the projector is less bright than the monitors at this certain distance, but still good. I know this is as far away from a scientific test as it could be, but I thought you guys could better imagine the projector's brightness in your room that way. Don't expect to tweak the picture that much in the image settings. There's really not that much you can do. If you can dim your room a lot, the projector is going to give you a decent looking picture, even if you do not have a dedicated projector screen. Just do not expect to use this projector in a lit room. The projector offers following ports, a headphone port, one EV port, a micro SD slot, two HDMI ports and one USB port. And on the back side you find a VGA port and an infrared receiver. That's a decent amount for the price. The build quality of the projector is overall good. The HDMI port seems to support the CEC standard, as I can turn on the projector with the remote of my Fire TV stick. The buttons on the top feel great, so do the focus and keystone correction wheels. There is no tripod mount on the projector, so you're going to need some sort of shelf for it. The remote of the projector itself feels cheap, but they only use it to change the inputs anyway. All of the other controls are only really necessary if you're using the built-in media player. The built-in speakers are ok, but fall a bit short. For gaming with my Sega Mega Drive, they do a great job regarding loudness and make the setup process very fast and uncomplicated. They are great when you visit friends or just use the projector somewhere else. For everyday use I definitely would recommend you to connect external speakers. You can do that via the audio out port or if you are using a Fire TV stick or something similar just connect Bluetooth speakers to this device. I use my Edifier speakers that are sitting on my desk and connected them to my Fire TV stick. You are going to notice the fan, it's not quiet but also not loud compared to other projectors. For example, the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector I already tested a while back costs about 10 times as much and the fan is way louder. 
If you use decent speakers, you're going to be fine. If you are a fan of quiet movies, then the fan noise is going to bother you. This little projector makes my bedroom a lot more special. The projector is small enough that it fits perfectly on a small shelf and is barely noticeable. By connecting something like a Fire TV stick, you get your favorite movies and TV shows on the very big screen. Thanks to the keystone and focus correction, the overall setup is extremely easy. Connecting external speakers is also simple. Even on a normal white wall, the picture is decent enough. Sure, the black levels are not that good, the fan could be quieter, but yet again, this projector only costs about 120 bucks. Me and my girlfriend are really happy with it, especially because we can have our intense 1 vs 1 retro fights on the big screen now. If you have any questions regarding this projector, just hit me up in the comment section or write me an email or message me via Instagram. If you have positive experiences or recommendations with other cheap projectors similar to this one, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this little review. Servus, bye.